Hi everyone, it's Alejandra, and I'm sitting here next to my filing, uh, it's not even a, a cabinet, it's a cart, my filing cart, and I want to show you guys the filing system that I use inside my house that's like super easy to set up, it's fun to use, yes, like filing can actually be fun with the system that I'm going to show you guys, um, but it's, yeah, it's easy to use and there's like minimal maintenance, so if you're not a paper person and you like dread filing, let me show you the system I use and maybe you can change the way you think about your filing cabinet. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to film this and still be oops, still be in the um the view. Okay. Can you guys see this? Yeah, I think so. Maybe I'll back up. Okay. There. That's perfect. Okay, so this system right here, this is called the Freedom Filer and I will post a link below the video so you can check it out if you think it's going to work for you. Um, here's exactly what it looks like. It's a kit that looks like this. Freedom Filer. Just like this. And um, the reason why I think it's like fun or it's like more fun than like traditional filing is because the system is color coded. So each color, like each of these color files, symbolizes a different type of document. I'm just going to move this for a second. It symbolizes a different type of document. So like red stands for something, blue stands for something, green stands for something. So it just like, it just makes it a little bit easier to find exactly what you're looking for. Like find the folder that you're looking for to stick a paper inside or find the folder to retrieve a paper. It's just a little bit easier and the way they do all the labeling in the system um, requires less maintenance. So like a lot of people um, a lot of people go through their filing cabinet annually and have to recreate folders based on like if some kind of um, like bill changes or their car changes like for example if they label Honda Accord on their label and then when they sell their car then they have to go create another file with like the new name like you know Toyota Prius or whatever so using the system you just create the label once and that's it you just create the label once so that's another reason why I really like this system okay so the green section up here is all of your financial related documents. So like any bank statements, um, money accounts, retirement account, mortgage statements, credit cards, savings, um, all of those like statement type stuff and like financial document related stuff goes in the green section. So I, li I like to think of that as like green is, mo or I'm sorry, money is green. So then your files are green or your financial files are green. Does that make sense? All right. So that's green. And then the light blue section, can you see that? Is all of your tax documents that you save throughout the year and then you use to complete your taxes. So for example, that's like your um, W-2, your 1099, any um, interest paid on anything, personal property tax, all those documents that you get throughout the year that are tax related that you're just like, okay, where do I put this? That goes in the light blue section. Okay, so the red section is all of your permanent documents. So like stuff that you would never throw away. So that could include like obviously your birth certificate, your passport, your social security card, um, any warranties or manuals that you have, any health records, dental records, education records, any like record that's permanent, like anything that's permanent will go in the red section. So I like to think of it as um, red is like vital, important, um, like high priority. So anything that's like in that category I just talked about goes in red. Okay, so the orange category right here is any kind of document that is um, continuously updated or temporary. So that could mean like your um, your medical insurance policy. So every year your health insurance sends you a like policy book that's like this thick and like most of us don't even read it, but we keep it. So that that policy they give you they send it to you every single year right and so when they send you the new one you can take the old one and just recycle it or shred it do whatever you need to with it and then just take your new one and put it inside the um, the new orange folder so orange is stuff that comes in comes out comes in comes out gets updated purple can you see purple I don't really have that many purple documents but purple is um, it's like hobby stuff extracurricular stuff um, like, um, what do I have there? 
Oh, I have like return labels there and then there's like some passwords and stuff. It's pretty much just like hobby. I don't want to say um, miscellaneous because you shouldn't have a miscellaneous folder. But, but it's just like stuff that doesn't fit in any of the other categories. It's more like extra stuff. Okay, and then dark blue. Can you see dark blue here? Dark blue is all of your tax returns. So you file your taxes and then um, the IRS sends you like your return back. So um, all your returns go in the dark blue section. And again, that's sorted by year. There's actually different ways you can set up that, that um, category of files, but pretty much it's like by year or by, um, it's by year or by decade. Okay, so that's all the colors here. So just by color coding your filing cabinet, like it can make it a lot easier to find what you're looking for in less time. Um, it just, I think it makes it more fun. It's not just like your manila folders, which are kind of boring, right? Like you open up your filing cabinet, it's nice to see like all these pretty colors. So I just love this system for so many different reasons. I love the maintenance, I love how it's color coded, I feel like I can find things really fast, and I also like how all the tabs, let me show, show you guys again, I also like how all the tabs are like, they're not all in one line, they're not like zigzagged, but they're like, well they're zigzagged, but you can see all of them, like nothing's hiding behind another file so I can just see everything. So before I end the video, let me go back to the example of how um, of how I told you that there's like minimal maintenance when it comes to this system, like having to recreate the labels every year, like you don't have to do that. So for example, this is my auto records folder and I have all of my auto records from the from the car I have now. So if I sell my car or if I get rid of my car, I can still use this folder because it says auto records and not the make and the model of the car I have now. Do you see how like the label's kind of vague? Um, so it just allows you to not have to recreate the, um, the label itself. So another example would be if you label, like let's say you label one of your folders with like Comcast for your internet and TV bill. So let's say in like two months you switch to Verizon so then you're gonna have to go back and like create another folder for Verizon, right? So you have to create your label again. So with this system, the label itself will just say utility bill or like cable and TV bill. It won't say the exact name, which means you won't have to recreate the whole label again, which saves you a lot of time. Okay, so I've shown you my filing cabinet, and again, I will post a link below the video where you can get this. This is what it looks like when it's mailed to you. Um, let me open this one for you guys. When you get this system, it doesn't include the folders, so you're going to have to buy the folders separately. So pretty much you get a welcome packet, this is like instructions, and then you get, um, these are all the labels it comes, it comes with, it's like sheets of labels, just like that. And then you get even more instructions, it tells you exactly how to set it up and the best way to use the system. Again, it's just awesome. I've tried different, um, I've tried maybe like five or six different filing systems and I've had this one for over three years now and I'm not like dying to switch it. It's, it's working, it's easy to use. My fiance uses the same system with his filing cabinet and he is not a paper person, but, um, but he does well in his filing cabinet. He like maintains it and he finds what he's looking for and um, yeah, he just maintains it. So anyways, that's my tip for today and I will see you guys soon. Bye.